so happy to be here. We're so excited. We love this part, this experience. We love to, to interact with you. We feel very fortunate to, to be able to spend time with you and to, to have face-to-face -face contact. And somebody, you know, asked us, I think yesterday, like, how do you put up with this and meet people and hug everybody? Because, like, yesterday we had, like, 250 people. It was, it was crazy. But we're like, we get to. We get to meet you. We get to interact with you guys. And we love this. So thank you so much for letting us do this. And uh, so we're, uh, we're yeah. So let's ask, ask away. Ask questions. Yeah, we'll dive Go right ahead. into any questions Anything at, at all. all. Yeah. All right. I saw your hand first. You got to be in sing in the rain, right? I'm not. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what. I know, baby. No, I'll tell you what happened. We did a big announcement. It was amazing. And, oh my gosh. It's happening. Incredible. And then the production company kind of fell apart, unfortunately. Which is okay. You know, it's not, it's not in my hands. It's out of my hands. But the good news is that Broadway's not going anywhere. It ain't going anywhere. It's not moving. So it's definitely still on my list of things to do. But not anytime in the near future, that's for sure. Yeah. But, but it will, it's, on the, it's on the list, though. I'm going to book my... <laughs> well, that's why I wanted to stop you because I knew you had that speedy on your speed now. I was like, that's okay. How about Broadway for you? For me, uh, that's on my bucket list for sure. So just trying to figure out what the right show is and the right time and everything, but 100%. Yeah, it's all, it's all there. Yes, it's all happening. Definitely. Go ahead. Okay, this is the one. For both y'all, if you could only do one single star show a hybrid of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> what was it you A hybrid That's of all of them. Uh, no. A single style of dance? You can't say all of them, you can't say Latin. Uh, <laughs> I would do Latin. <laughs> I would do contemporary because I love telling stories. So for me, it's all about like a beginning, middle, and an end. And you'll see actually in Act Three tonight, um, it's like sort of our Mad Max kind of feeling act. You'll notice it when it comes. But I have like a full storyline. Y'all don't know what it is. Even Derek doesn't know what it is, but it's in my head. And, uh, and it changes all the time. I'm like, oh, and this is happening. She, she tell me, she told, I like we dip her at the end, and she's like. I'm dead. <laughs> and I'm like, are you okay? She's like, no, 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 it's part of my story. And then the music starts with, and I'm alive. <laughs> and I'm just trying to catch a dang breath. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> um, that was pretty funny. So, yeah. I would do contemporary because it tells stories. I would do, like, the passionate dance. Not even, I'm not going to be specific, just the passion. <laughs> yeah, ours is tango, though. I love those things. That, like, the, for me, it's the music that I love. I love strings. I love percussion. I love, like, big, just <laughs> music that just hits you, makes you go, like, You know that dance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> makes you go, like, you know, I like that. Those, those ones are fun. Although my knees would probably get sore if I had to do that for the rest of my life. <laughs> More ice baths. Which yes. brings to mind, what are you going to do when you can't... <gasps> oh. oh. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? You know, it's, it's something, it's, it's interesting to say that because I think that, um, you know, that's something we think about because being a dancer, yeah. there is a shelf life, you know. Um, but... Uh, I haven't quite thought of that. I just they say, no, there's not. No, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, this is, this is what I mean, meaning by that. By shelf life, I mean, you could dance, but I'm talking like dancing like at the level, level that we're dancing at yeah. for right now. Yeah, yeah. it's just, yeah. Yeah, it just, it just happens. Choreography. Yeah, sure. But yeah. choreography, but also, like, there's a... Like, yeah, like, I just started to the videos, oh, and, you know, I'm getting into that. There's, there's many different, um, you know, opportunities. And also with Broadway, for instance, is a good example. Because Broadway, it's not, believe it or not, depending on the show, because there's a lot of dialogue, there's a lot of singing. So it's physically, depending on the show, not quite as taxing, for instance, as what we're doing tonight. Like, what we're doing tonight is far more taxing than, you know, physically, <laughs> than, than most Broadway shows out there, just because of the nature of what we created. So. And also, who's been to the show before? Nice! And yeah. who, who, whose first Woo. time is it? Woo. Nice! Yeah. Okay. So, for those of you who have been here before, you will see a huge jump from our first show to our second show, and then our second show to this show is like, a, it's a really big jump. So it's, our dad saw it for the first time last night, and he was even just like, holy athletic. I was like, I was like, I was like yeah, I've never had this before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got some guns. 
Just doing pull ups and stuff like that. Anyway, it's very athletic this this show. But we'll see, go ahead, man. Yeah. Miss you on the show. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. I want to ask about the gowns that oh. you wear. Do you uh, pick them out, or are they on the show? Well, you didn't see you, you know, on the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they, are they assigned to you? <laughs> no. Okay. So I actually, because I have other projects and things that I do outside of the show. I actually work with a stylist that I have known now for five years that we do Emmy awards and Golden Globes and red carpets for this and that and they also do Dancing with the Stars for me as well. So we do a big fitting right before the season and then we do one halfway through. Except that couldn't happen because we're on tour this time so <laughs> we just did one big one. Um, and we, we try on a bunch of dresses and then we kind of figure out which day it's going to go for. But I do not get to keep them, you guys. <laughs> I'm like, they are, they are. But, but, why, but I mean, yeah. girls don't really wear dresses twice, really. When you, I mean, I mean, when you, you, you don't for, wear a dress for twice. Like, right? For like red carpet. Like a red carpet gown, yeah, like you never like, wear it twice. We so. don't usually wear them twice, so I guess it's okay. It works but out. there have been a few where I'm like, it works out. can I keep this one? Me and like, the absolutely the same not. Suit for years. <laughs> <laughs> same suit. I'm like, uh, what's this? Oh, yeah, I'm going to have a Yeah. You know, one of my favorite parts about doing Dancing with the Stars, though, is like it's such a, a, a creative platform where, you know, unlike red carpets, they're like movie stars don't do crazy things, so you have to always look so simple. And so with Dancing with the Stars, I'm like, I'm wearing bangs tonight, I'm gonna do some crazy eyeshadow, I'm gonna wear this dress. So it's so, it's so fun. It's the same thing, like, as a choreographer or a dancer on the show, you get so much room to play. Well, I get to do the same thing with like fashion and beauty. Um, it's the the quick story is is that the original show is called Strictly Come Dancing in England in uh, London and real fast I'll, I'll try to be real fast. I was fast. say is this the quick story? Let's go back story. to the beginning of time. <laughs> so there was an egg. I'm sorry. Um, I, <laughs> why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think mean, well, because one came first, took it right. Let's right. right. just rewind here. So what happened was they were doing a Dance of the Stars tour, the first tour in season three, I think. Julianne was going on. I was I, just a company dancer. Company dancer. Back and back. it was great because I couldn't pay rent anymore in LA. So I was like, great, I'm going to go on tour for two months. I don't have to pay rent. <laughs> a, guy got, a guy got injured and she called me. I just finished doing my... my um, Role in uh, Phillips in London for the past year, doing eight shows a week, nonstop. And so I was going to take a break. And she goes, Derek, we're doing a show, a uh, Dance with Stars tour. And I'm like, No, I don't want to go. She's like, Dude, we're doing arenas and like rock and roll tour buses. I'm like, All right, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> so we went, we danced, and Julianne, actually, Kim Johnson got injured on the tour. And then Julianne took her place on tour, and Julianne was basically discovered on the show. And then she got on the next season of season four of Dance with the Stars. And I actually said no at first because I moved to LA to be an actress. And <laughs> I was like, I don't want to be on a reality show. And then, of course, I was like, wow. This, at, back then, season four, 20 million viewers a week. I was like, ooh, maybe I don't have, maybe I can pay my rent now. <laughs> yeah. So Julianne, Julianne uh, of course, was on season four with Paul Anton Ono. And then she, yeah. I, came and, well, I came and visited her. I came and visited her, and, and we did a dance, like a, a you know one of the results show dances, and then they asked me to be on the show for the following season, and um, yeah, that's how we kind of. I, I never got to do one of the like they never put me on camera and screen tested or anything, so you'll never see one of those videos that they always play uh, of the professional dancers. I never. Are you mean like one. mine where I said entertaining like yeah. twenty times? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like to entertain, and therefore I like to entertain, and when I entertain, I feel good about entertaining, and so entertain great. Entertain. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm gonna say it I'm gonna say it one more time. Say it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay, so y'all's uh, performance, the unsteady performance um, this season, it was, I know how much it meant to you guys, because I followed you for a very long time. How do you guys go down, deep down inside again, and revisit that and perform such a breathtaking performance and just open yourselves up to us as the fans and let us into that story? How do you guys find that strength? And Well, you know, actually, it's, it's interesting because it's, it's, it's actually not strength. I don't really feel like it's it's um it's actually uh, it's very cathartic. But also when you have a song, mm -hmm. you know, 
it, it's more of a choice. It's a choice, right? Like, like we're like we're, we're deciding to tell this story, mm -hmm. and it's very personal. But it's 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 you know at the surface seems like heartbreaking and mm -hmm. upsetting. But the, the what we wanted from it was something you know positive yeah. come mm -hmm. out of it, and that's that everything's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. You know, everything's gonna be okay no matter what. And you know, if we could go back and tell our younger selves that, you know. We would tell them that. Yeah. Like, hey, guess what, little Derek? It's, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Things are gonna work out just fine. But, but I think also telling our parents that it's all gonna be okay too. Yeah. And I think that was for me a big thing was to be able to have little Derek and little Julianne go and hug mom and dad and be like, we're good. Yeah. Y'all can move on now too. You know. So so I think like. But and the music, yeah. the music depicted it, and I think that with dancing, it. If anything, actually, it just it feels good. Yeah. It feels good to, 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 you know, have an emotion. Our Elastic Heart first performance, that was also about something very personal. Mm -hmm. That wasn't as, like, obvious. Yeah. But it was very personal. And it just makes the routines come out of you. And it just, it feels, it feels good, actually, mm -hmm. honestly. It's, it's not hard. It's actually, um, it's, it's quite, like, like I said, cathartic to go there. You know? And also, since, since you <laughs> said that you've followed us for a long mm -hmm. time, too, like, it's kind of our nature to be open. Mm -hmm. I think that for us, like the more we feel like we know you guys and you know us, the more connected we are. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're here today is to connect with you guys. And, and I don't know, it's a relationship. Yeah. Like you guys are, are giving us so much joy mm -hmm. to be able to be here and vice versa. We want to be as open as we can too. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Well, Derek, like five times. It's happened to me a lot. <laughs> I'm like, I'm the best in the world. You're off. <laughs> no, um, it, it, you know what? It just goes to show you, though. Again, we're talking about connection, connecting with the audience. The scores are, it's, if you look at it, it's quite a mechanical thing. You know, it's like, it's something that's like, this is your score, this is your dance, good technique, not good technique, da 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 da. But the thing that you can't see or score essentially is the connection that you have with the audience at home, and they're the ones who are voting. And so that, so we, we go to different cities. It's very interesting too to see who are voting for who, and it's very different all around the country. Ooh, that's Rashad familiar. and Emma. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that sounds very familiar, by the way. Not gonna get political, uh, but uh, but, it, but 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 the thing is, is that it's it's really about that connection with the audience and what makes you feel something. For instance. I saw David, I hadn't seen a show from the beginning to the end of the season until the other day, and it was when David danced this humble and kind dance, oh, and I was like, I, I love this man. He <laughs> <laughs> made me cry. <laughs> and my dad and I were like tearing up, we're like, I love you, dad. Like, <laughs> and so, and he's not the best dancer by any means, but I certainly, if, in that moment, if I were a voter, I would have voted for him, so. Yeah. 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 Yes. Oh, just the other day. <laughs> well, it wasn't really during the dance. It was actually during our show. We were, where were we? We were in Jacksonville, Florida. And I was like, had super energy that day. And I remember I went over and did this. She took my nose. And then like, and then he took my nose off. Anyway, so it started this whole weird, like, we just were being really silly and goofy. So then... We started we doing started singing, our number, we were singing, singing, dancing, and then and we just started we laughing. Get through, we started laughing, <laughs> and then he ended up being like, "Stop! We stop, stop, the show. stop! Let's start over!" Because we were literally laughing on the floor. <laughs> like, it was so I was funny. having a giggling fit on the floor, and I think the audience was like, "Uh, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Is this part of the show?" And I'm like, "I'm sorry, guys. We're proud of we're professionals." <laughs> And we started the whole routine over. It was really fun. But we've had, oh, there's also been a lot of embarrassing things that have happened, like on Dance in the Stars and in competitive world. Um, things that probably can't tell you, because it's like kids here, so. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Things happen all the time. I remember actually one of the biggest competitions in the world um, is in Blackpool, England. And I was doing, um, we were on the, like, the team match, and I had this dress that connected right here. And I'll tell you what, that thing snapped open. And I, I was holding it, we were trying to do the jive and stuff, and Mark Ballas 
was my partner at the time, and then I'd be like, I'd turn and he'd be like that. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, I can only do one arm. <laughs> that, that was, it was pretty epic. Like, <laughs> yes, go ahead. Uh, question for Eric. How do you feel dancing passionately with your sister and dancing like First of all, that first question, what? <laughs> It's interesting you say that because you know we had a dance like a rumba one time and then and we had to dance these certain things and so people were like oh is that weird and the truth is it, it's only weird if you make it weird you know like, like, <laughs> yeah. Like, like, yeah that's yes. weird <laughs> but what's interesting if you, if you look at a rumba for instance where they're like it's supposed to be sexy and sensual and all these things. see for me if you look at most of my rumbas on Dance with Stars for instance probably nine out of ten of them are not sexy they're 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 caring they're sweet. It's more about caring for somebody that you love and caring. It's like it's got more of like an emotion behind it rather than just like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So for me, so for me, the passionate. That would be so awkward. So for instance, so for instance, if we're doing like an Argentine tango and they're like, Argentine tango is supposed to be passionate. This is that. Like, who says it's supposed to be anything? It's I, I like the moves. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. There's certain songs that, that lend themselves to that. But for instance, we do some Marcy Tango tonight, but it, by no means does it feel like passionate. No, because like, remember, I have a story in my head. Yeah. And, and she's it's a dead. Battle. It's a battle, and I lose. <laughs> and then you come back to life. Um, but it, so to answer your question, it's, it never feels weird unless we unless we make it weird, which we, we don't. So. And then as far as country music goes, uh, hey yo, um, I don't know. <laughs> but I on my like goal list this year, I remember I was like doing a whole vision board and everything. It was like start writing songs again. So I definitely want to start singing again. I'm just not sure when that will be. She actually has a whole album that she hasn't released that didn't come out. An entire album. It's like 15 yeah. songs. But what's funny is that I was like, well, why did you just release it? She's like, well, because the song was a little bit different. That was when I was 21 and very different than who I am today. She's Because now it's like, because now she's, you know, I had a married. Song, I had a song called Wildfire. Basically, like, I'm warning you right now. I'm going to break up with you. And I'm like, I'm like a kind of a sassy little thing. And I'm like, that's not who I am anymore. <laughs> so I can't release that album. Yeah, now you're getting married and everything. I know! I don't think we're gonna be doing that this tour. Um, I, I don't know. We are talking about a possible like. Look. We're talking. <laughs> <laughs> we're, just, we're just talking. Hi, hi, hi. Second time. Derek tends to spill the beans. On I do. Time. People are like, when do you get married? Oh, what date would you like to know? <laughs> Where the, would you like the address too? <laughs> uh, but no, no live streaming this year, I don't believe. No, no. Hey guys.